What's going on? Harry AA here, your GB 100 meter sprinter. Welcome to my channel. I just thought, you know what? I built a little home gym. Why not share it? Let's have a little look, like I'm on MTV Cribs. I mean, it's not the biggest of spaces. We're talking it's about six meters long, two and a half meters wide. Um, obviously with what's happened with the pandemic and everything, gyms closing, I wasn't able to train at the level that I'm used to and motivation was a little bit of a struggle. So for me, I thought to myself, let me do something about it. Let me facilitate my own happiness. And um, I decided to come into my garage and I'm telling you, I absolutely dug out the place. It, was, it, wasn't, a, it wasn't the best places, let's put it that way. Um, but at the same time, I got day, got my hands dirty, did a bit of DIY, did some bits I didn't think I could do, put a new threshold in, expanding foam, ceiling, all of that sort of stuff. And then once all of, all of that bit was done, you know, cleaning the floor, and then I was like, okay, now I can start to make it look pretty. And I thought, I've done a decent job, and I'm getting in some good sessions, and I thought there's some people out there that might want to know what I'm up to, so I thought I'd share. And firstly, I thought, you know what, I want a space that makes me feel excited. So I had to put up the white paint, I had to put up some memorable moments, we're talking the pictures, we're talking moments in my, my kind of history uh, where I've meddled and um, you know keep that motivation. But you know what, let's start with some equipment. What have I gone for and what have I chosen? First things first, when you walk in, you got this little storage unit. Now, finding storage for gyms is actually so hard because obviously some things can be so expensive. Whereas I li literally managed to find this wire rack in I put it up against the wall and it's done a job. We've got your yoga blocks. I keep my supplements in here as well. My resistant bands, wherever I stretch with them. Um, obviously, we've got the smaller ones as well for glute activation. And look, you've got that lotion on tap. You never know when you're gonna get some ashy, ashy elbows, you know what I mean? Uh, on top of that, we've got some grip gel. Hockey ball, I'm never without a hockey ball. I'll get into them tight spots, you know what I mean? Hip thrusts, obviously, everyone loves a hip thrust. Um, we got our, we got our straps, we've got the ab wheel, because you know what I mean? We've got to stay on the ab wheel. Now, this is tricky, we've got skipping ropes. I can't skip in here, I have to skip outside. Ceiling's too low, but we move. We've got the punching gloves, because obviously, right behind me, I might, I might give you a little one too, do you know what I mean? Little one too. And then, yeah, of course, I suffer with, I've got three chef fractures in my back, so when I do start to lift heavy, I get my belt on, and then obviously, I fall. You know, since I have got my home gym, I want to do some things that I wouldn't normally do. So um, I've seen some people with the weighted sort of belt that you can have the weights on to do some pull-ups with. Um, and then we've got my electrical area at the bottom where we've got an extension lead. We've got my lighting, we've got my speakers. Obviously, I have the speakers. Um, and then obviously, as I plan around, we're talking with our mats, our Swiss balls. Um, I keep my trainers in here, making it nice and awkward for you. <laughs> so this chair here, this is decent. I can take this outdoors as well, so when the sun is nice, I do tend to go outside and get some sessions in. I've got my dumbbells underneath now. As a sprinter, I don't tend to use a lot of dumbbells in the capacity that a lot of normal people would. I don't train for aesthetics. Everything is all about power and it's all about making me run faster. If it ends up with me looking good, as I do, you know, it's all good and well, but at the same time, that's the focus. So, we're talking mirror fit. Um, I went for the sissy squat, I want that quad power. I don't know if anyone's uh, had some fun in the sissy squat before, but I tell you what, these things here, they go in. As you drop back, you're getting that burn through your quads. Literally, I can hold two dumbbells here, and I'm good to go. There is an essence of balance involved, but something to get used to. But if you want to get that burn, I'm telling you, it does the job. Obviously, man had to reach for the punch bag. I'm not a boxer. I don't rate myself in that sort of way. I'm not aggressive, but I thought, you know what? Why not? Let me get a little punch bag, burn some calories, learn a new technique, learn a new skill. I mean, let me just, let me just show you a little, little sign sign. My old friend Anthony Joshua taught me, do you know what I mean? Little one too. <laughs> you want some of this? You want, yeah? Yeah, I've got, I've got it in a tank too. I've got it in a tank, what? Yeah, I'm a little southpaw, you get me? Yeah? But yeah, punching bag me, we'll, we'll have some fun. So something I'll talk to you about in regards to setting up your home gym, floor space is a must. So I've only really gone for two pieces of equipment in regards to exercises and movements that I feel are really important. Obviously I really want to get used to the sissy squats as I just showed you, but also we're talking your back extension. Now I do a lot of single leg 
hamstring exercises where I feel the back extension can activate and get into. So, you know, when I'm in this position here, I can actually be pulling any form of weight through my back, yeah, through my hamstrings, getting it on a lengthened muscle. I can switch sides, I can do it double at the same time. So, for me, this was a bit of a no-brainer. I do need some back strengthening exercises, but at the same time, I can move these around because like I said, floor space is everything. So as I push this back now, all of a sudden, I'm now in my lifting area. This is what I'm lifting. Um, I went for some serious heavy duty flooring uh, that I know can take good absorption because some of this I'll be doing, I'll be doing power cleans, uh, I'll be doing deadlifts. Now, you know, I've gone for a nice Olympic bar, you know, I'll be here doing whatever it is I need to be doing. And uh, yeah. This is my lifting platform. And at the same time, because like I said, I can drop the weights down. It's all about thinking about space. And obviously I've got the mirror. I like to look at myself. And here we have the hub. Um, everything pretty much is gonna be happening in this area around this half rack. Um, I've got a bit of a result with this to be fair. Um, obviously a lot of people went mad for the racks during the pandemic and I managed to find one that I was really, really happy with. It's durable, it's sturdy, and it came at a decent price. Um, but like I said, look, I'm hanging my TRX off of it. Um, I could also be doing my bungee sprints. You know, this is what I'm saying. Floor space is everything. I put this on, I'm out here. Don't watch the footwear. Don't worry about that. And obviously I've got my flat bench. And look at these pretty weights. You know, I had to do fashion Easter. I had to, I had to. You know, it matches the ceiling, look at that. <laughs> so, in a nutshell, the only thing that I can't really do, I mean, I can do mock pull-ups, I'm here, but we're talking ceiling height, is a slight issue, but we're good. We deal with it, we move, we move. The squat rack's durable, it's perfect. I will be doing my bench press down here, I'll be doing my front squats, I'll be doing my back squats. Um, it's got the arms in regards to safety uh, spotting and like, you know, I'm just, you know when you're just proud of yourself? I'm proud of something that I put my mind to, I'm proud of something that I had an idea that I wanted to give myself some form of happiness and it's come to fruition, I'm happy that I'm able to get the majority of my training done in the, in the space that I'm really happy with and I just can wake up and then come down here, it's my little, you know, temple that I can work out and get some serious work done. So I appreciate it and um, I'm really happy with it. So that's my home gym in a nutshell. Thanks for tuning in. But like MTV Cribs, gotta get out of here. Back to the basics. It's time to face it. I'm gonna make it. Look back and I did amazing. Been saying my graces. Not like I ain't grateful. These cashes.